Hi, we're here with Kate from Edwards Eco Building at uh, Grand Designs Live, and um, Kate is uh, here demonstrating uh, building with cob. Okay, so we're going to find a little bit about that. Um, Kate, tell us, you know, wh what's the principle behind cob? What is it? How does it work? What do you do? Okay, well, cob is the most environmental form of eco building there is. It's essentially a mixture of clay, sand, and straw. It's an ancient tradition which has been going on for thousands of years. We're reviving it to modern day method because it's, the, it's very, very environmental. You can dig the clay and the sand directly from the land where you are building. So there's no transportation of materials, no embodied energy, and very little skill involved. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks pretty skillful to me. So, uh, so, so, so how, how long would it take you know, for, for what you built here? How long has that taken you to, to build that and compared to building with a conventional brick wall? Um, there's hardly any difference. I mean, it doesn't go up overnight, but it's, you can do each lift in about two, two feet at a time. So it's not a lot longer than a regular house. The only restrictions are the weather. So as long as you're covered, then you can... Uh, we generally put a big tent and do it under there and then put the roof on and it's all hunky-dory. So it's not good in the rain then? Well, not, not brilliant, but <laughs> that's the only thing I for. And uh, you know, if you're building um, I don't know, say a 10 foot wall, six foot high, yeah. um, how does it compare in price wise to a conventional brick and mortar wall? I mean, price wise, it can be uh, you know, a good sort of, if you're doing it yourself, it can be sort of 80% cheaper because essentially the materials, as I said, are free. They're from the ground. You dig a foundation trench, you would normally have that material skipped away. You have to pay to take, have someone take it away. What you do is you use the clay and the sand parts of that, mix it back up in the right proportions, and you've got yourself a wall, which is essentially from a free material. So, can't beat it. <laughs> okay, that's tremendous. And, and is, it, is, it, is it making a big comeback? Are you seeing more and more people decide to, to build with coal? Absolutely. I've been, basically, in the last year we've been inundated. Um, it's really gone, you know, gone wild. We're doing a whole village in Lincolnshire, 60 houses, and uh, hopefully it's going to be a landmark village to show other people they can build in this way.